The program does not necessarily reflect the views of News Radio 830 KHVH, its staff, or management. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or we'll buy it. If you have any real estate questions, you can reach us at 855-KHVH-830. That's 855-548-4830 or on the web at gokhvh.com. Well, good evening. Is it evening? No. It's no, still it's the not. Afternoon. It's still the afternoon. <laughs> I was projecting there. Anyway, hey, everybody. This is Attilio. I was at the water park the other day. I was running in the uh, the kitty section, you know, where they got the big mushroom where the water is draining down on the side of the mushroom. And I was running in a circle underneath there screaming like a little girl. Mm-hmm. And this lady came up, tapped me on the shoulder, started asking me, believe it or not, some tax and legal questions. I said, those are great questions. I highly recommend you seek the appropriate licensed professional. And then I said, but mom, what other questions do you have? And I really like running around and screaming like a little girl underneath the water mushroom. <laughs> so if you hear anything on this show that may be deemed as tax or legal advice, go see an attorney, go see a CPA, because today we're going to talk about real estate. Okay. So we do have a quote of the day from Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn. Yes, it's not about experience. Okay. Take time to gather up the past so that you'll be able to draw from your experiences and invest them in the future. Mm-hmm. Don't let the learning from your own experiences take too long. If you've been doing it wrong for the last 10 years, I would suggest that's long enough. Life is not just the passing of time. Life is a collection of experiences and their intensity. It's easy to carry the past as a burden instead of a school. It's easy to let it overwhelm you instead of educate you. Be like a sponge when it comes to each new experience. If you want to be able to express it well, you must first be able to absorb it well. All right. So you guys are going to learn a lot of things on today's show. So make sure and have your pencil, your paper, and your sponge handy. Yes. Get your sponges out. So speaking of learning, uh, one of the things that we do as a real estate team to uh, improve the value or level of service for our clients is we do take time to travel to the mainland. Yes. To go to different kind of conferences within our field. And uh, the latest one that we went to this past couple days ago was that last week was the Mastermind Summit uh, held by... Brian Buffini. Brian Buffini. And company. And company. And we got to, so in the first session, um, we got to listen to a speaker. And who is that speaker, Adrian? His name is Sean Anker. He's the author of the international bestseller, The Happiness Advantage. And he's a leading expert on the connection between happiness and success. So Sean spent over a decade at Harvard University where he served as a head teaching fellow for positive psychology and later went on to found Good Think incorporated in order to share his message with the world so we got to hear his message at this mastermind summit that was really cool yeah it was really cool as they gave everybody the um the book the book that he had written and the title of the book is the happiness advantage the seven principles of positive psychology that fuel success and performance at work again by sean anchor is it anchor i don't see no n in there oh Maybe. Acker. Acker. So, <laughs> in case you're like, name. man, I'm Googling Anchor. <laughs> Can't find it. It's A C H O R. Acher. Acker. Acker. It's like Anchor without the N. Yes. Okay. Anchor. Yeah. So basically, the happiness advantage is happiness gives your brain a competitive edge. All right. So I started typing this. <laughs> then I had to get out the door because it was time to go do the show. But smart companies. <laughs> Cultivate these types of working atmospheres, you know, like Google and Yahoo. Mm-hmm. Um, they have like foosball tables. I think Zappos is another example of one of those types of companies. It's yep. A fun atmosphere. And I think that Team Lally, too, we, we have our fun meetings. 
Yeah, what do we? Our last fun meeting, we went and played laser tag over at the Family Fun Center in um, Dole Cannery. Yeah, that was that was nice. We've done hikes and let's see what else. Surfing. We uh, we uh, bedazzled uh, eggs. <laughs> That's right. We did a Fabergé egg. Fabergé egg. We painting. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, painting. That was fun. Where the an artist came in. My ties and. Monet. Mo Monet. My ties and Monet. Um, if you ever, that's a great event to have for family. I even ha had her come out and uh, we painted pineapples with my family at the beach. But anyway, the whole point of that is that if you're working with a real estate team, I don't know about you, but if I'm going to sit down to have somebody help me with something that's pretty stressful and complicated, buying or selling a home, I want to make sure that that person on the other end that's helping me is happy. Yes. Or a happy person to be around. Well, because what the happy people are better at problem solving. Yeah, and buying and selling a home is is that is problem solving. There's negotiations. Negotiations is a form of problem solving. And all sorts of things come up during the buying and selling of homes that you know you can't even predict. Yeah. So there are seven principles. Uh, maybe we'll talk about them on the next show. But mm -hmm. you had some you had some notes from that from that speaker. Did you want to share? Okay, so that optimism is the greatest indicator for success. Um, you got to have the right attitude to be successful. If you're super negative, it's you're just working against yourself there. Oh yeah, and you know what? Subconsciously, you you um, are affected by a negative person. Mm -hmm. They he mentioned this thing, and this is they scientifically studied this by, you know, I don't know, attaching things to your brain that's that that records the the. What happens in your brain when you're the around synapses. this? Yeah. And he calls it the mirror neuron. And it picks up on a signal before you even know it. So if somebody's super negative and grouchy, mm -hmm. you, you automatically pick on that, uh, pick up on that through this mirror, mirror neuron before you realize you're even doing it. So like that's how like if you're in a team environment and somebody's mm -hmm. grouchy and it, they start. It can spread. It spreads like a virus. So I think we have a pretty happy team. Yeah. The other thing that he had suggested was the three gratitudes. So every day, um, write down three new things that you are grateful for. That was, um, I think, a good habit to get into. Yeah, positive because, reinforcement, right? We have yeah. lots of negative reinforcement in our lives. You know mm -hmm. what it's called? It's called your negative neighbor. Television. Uh, the news, mm -hmm. the newspaper news. Just people in general. You know, when people come up to you, you say, hey, did you hear? So and so got a flat tire and uh, <laughs> was all went nuts on the freeway. You know, nobody says, "Hey, guess what? Um, I had real fun. I fell asleep in my yard last night, <laughs> and I woke up when it was drizzling rain." And you think I'm making that up? No, that's what I did. We went out. You know, we just got our yard landscaped, so mm -hmm. we went lay blankets out in the yard, and I fell asleep in the backyard. All right, um, I think we should talk about a, a property. Okay. Enough about happiness. This is a real estate show. Oh, by the way, I have my new motto. Okay. Be happy now. Okay. Be happy now. Be happy now. Speaking of being happy now. All right. So here is a coming soon property. It's uh, at the Windward Estates. Mm -hmm. It's a four bedrooms, two bath, 1,700 square foot home. Um, it's not listed yet, but it will be here um you think like sometime towards the end of the week probably yeah and um yeah we've not seen this home just yet so cannot talk about it how spectacular it is i think you've looked at the pictures yeah i looked at the pictures they're nice green open spaces you know especially out in kanyoi um right now if you're a listener or you know somebody's in this situation and they're in the market to buy mm -hmm. this is a seller's market so what's happening is you're going to be outbid you're going to be competing with a lot of buyers, and sometimes you're going to be just too slow on the draw. Yep. Big difference when you're working with Team Lally. What's our buyer hotline? 234-4421. What is it again? Again, that's 234-4421. And we have four full-time buyer agents standing by, as well as our real estate concierge to answer your real estate questions or maybe schedule a showing for you 
on this home here at the Windward Estates. Yeah, because if you're if you're going to be working with a buyer agent, you kind of want to. It's a double-edged sword question, though. You're going to ask them how many listings you have because that helps generate more inventory that I can mm-hmm. take a look at or get a first jump on. Mm-hmm. However, if they're a solo agent, they're doing everything. Adrian and I are listing agents only. We handle all the listings, so about 40 plus listings average. Mm-hmm. And of in a, and instead of being double-minded and trying to be everything and all to our clients, we specialize and we get really good at certain things. We're really good at selling homes, and we have our buyer agents to help represent you in looking for a home. And so you have access to our inventory without that buyer agent being distracted with trying to work a listing at the same time. So we do have a a coming soon list of properties that are in process and Mm -hmm. various stages. So if you want to get a hold of that list, give our buyer hotline a call, 234-4421. Again, that's 234-4421. We do need to take a short break, but when we come back, we have a more properties to talk more about. More properties and a special guest to join us. Yes. Hey, Sean Hannity here with some important news for home sellers. The marketing plan that your realtor uses for attracting buyers is critical to create demand to sell it for the most money possible. In Honolulu, the realtor you need to talk to is Adrian Lally of Team Lally, who has a national marketing program to guarantee to sell your home at a price and a deadline that you agree to, or she'll have it bought for cash. Now, while the average agent attracts few buyers a month and sells less than 10 homes a year, Adrian, on average, attracts hundreds of buyers every month and sells homes each and every week. If you're not happy along the way, she lets you fire her and pay nothing. Call Adrian Lally of Team Lally today at 227-2703 that's 227-2703 or go to the web team lally real estate show.com that's team lally real estate show.com and don't forget by the way check out team lally real estate and the show every saturday morning right here on khvh Are you a veteran interested in purchasing a home? If so, you qualify for the great benefits allowed by the VA Home Loans Program. Benefits like no down payment required, reduced closing costs, and flexible qualifying guidelines. Hawaii VA Loans is Hawaii's VA loan specialist who can educate you on all these benefits and help you get on track with being pre-approved for a VA loan. For more information on how you can tap into this great resource, go to hawaiivaloans.com to download their free 24 page ebook as a special bonus after downloading the informative guide you'll be instructed on how you can earn a thousand dollar closing cost credit on your next home purchase so what are you waiting for get your free va loan ebook and earn a thousand dollar closing credit by going to hawaiivaloans.com or give them a call at 792-4251 that's 792-4251 trying to find the best of the best don't settle for an agent that's just like the rest pick a team that knows just what to do from buying or selling we work hard for you team lolly the best real estate in the islands 227-2703 If you're looking for an outstanding insurance agent that will personally help you during the moment of truth, we recommend Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. So Attilio, what do you mean by the moment of truth? Well, the best insurance is the insurance you never have to use, but we know that's not how life works. So when life happens, you can count on Bradley and his team to exceed your expectations for your insurance needs. Keep in mind that when buying a home, the cost of home insurance should be taken into consideration. I trust Bradley with my own personal home, so you should give him a call. Call Bradley with Allstate Insurance at 591-801. Welcome back and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Attilio. And we're talking about real estate today. Speaking of real estate. Yes, speaking of real estate. If you want to know more about our Guaranteed Sale Program, just give us a call at 799-9596 or go to GuaranteedSale.com. If we can't sell your home at the agreed upon price and or time frame, we'll have your home bought for cash. Okay, so I think we have a guest today. Is our guest on the line? It looks like he is. All right, so ding dong, come in. (laughs) (laughs) I'm hearing you loud and clear. All right. 
All right. So our guest today is Vincent dobbins -Beck. He's our broker in charge over at REMAX. Broker in charge by day. And uh, author by evening. Yes. And also spear, spear fisherman. He's like a well-known spear fisherman there out there on the North Shore. Yes. But today he's talking about his, his brand new book release. I am, and I'm happy to do that. Thank you very much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think the last time we had him on the show, we were um, talking about the Humpty Dumpty series, which my kids absolutely love that book series. And they're very excited about your new, uh, you know, your new book about the whales. So Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, it's called Kahola, King of the Whales. Um, Kahola is the Hawaiian word for humpback whales. Um, okay. So lots of people can recognize that. Yeah. So what, so Vince, could you tell us what is the book about? It is a Hawaiian legend um, on why whales jump. Mm -hmm. uh, we're lucky in Hawaii to be able to see whales jumping right from the shore. Um, I get to watch them right here from my, my living room. It's wonderful. They start arriving usually around in October. Mm-hmm. Uh, and unfortunately, they're gone usually by the end of March. So we're about a month and a half away from them um, coming back into our waters. So when did when did your book actually officially come out? I think it was pretty pretty recently. Yeah, it just actually came out um, a couple of weeks ago. I saw it for the first time on on Tuesday out there on the shelves at at Barnes and Noble and Native Books there in the Ward Warehouse. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited to see it showing up out there. And then where where else could our listeners find your book? Um, it's uh, all over. I mean, close to close to home here. It's in uh, the Growing Keiki and uh, Haleiwa. Mm -hmm. And Island X Hawaii, they're in the farmers market, uh, but it is currently being um, approved to be in Walgreens, Walmart, ABC stores, Long's Drugs, you know, all over the place. Really happy to be working with Island Heritage and the folks there. They are they are super good. Also, bookends in Kailua. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, Hilo Hattie, etc. It's also on the uh, web at Amazon. So go out there and grab a copy. I would love it. Sounds like your book is going to go viral. Yeah. All the places <laughs> that it's available. <laughs> well, I'm hoping uh, if uh, there are any agents out there for the mainland listening, uh, give me a buzz. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it would be a great book to, you know, especially for people that want to get a little taste of Hawaii and something that's actually, you know, you created it here in Hawaii. Yes. Well, the, it's interesting. I got some friends up in Alaska and Canada, so yeah. they're excited about it because the opposite time from when they're down here, mm -hmm. they're up there in Alaska and Canada and, and uh, getting their, their fill of whales. Gotcha. So, Vince, how, how did you come up with this, this legend? How did you come across it? Um, I was... This book was 16 months in the making. At the, uh, March of 2012, I was uh, spearfishing with a buddy, Vilmar, and we were out off of the coast of the North Shore. And we were all done, and off towards Kiana Point, I could see this baby whale slapping his head on the surface. Mm -hmm. And I just took note of it. Um, and as we were putting the gear back in the Zodiac, uh, the whale swam by between us and, and shore. And I just kept watching it off in the distance. We got all packed up, and I was coming back home. And I got about 100 or 200 yards ahead of the, the baby, and I told Vilmar, I said, I'm jumping in. i got to see if, <laughs> if it's going to swim by. And so he's, he's like, whatever. And I jumped in, and I had my GoPro all dialed in and ready, and, and I'm looking up. I'm, the water was really clear that day. I was looking underneath. I was looking up, and finally, sure enough, here it comes. But um, Mama had a, a, different, a different idea of what should be happening here and started pushing the baby away from me mm -hmm. and, again, was going to go between me and shore. And we were already in pretty shallow water. I could see the bottom. And so I just started motoring going to cut her off, and I and she figured that out and started pushing the baby back towards Kiana Point, 
and I was a little bit bummed for a second, but then I saw that the baby had a mind of its own, and it was going to haul Eva whether she liked it or not. Oh. <laughs> and next thing you know, that whale, I, I could have touched the baby. I could have touched Mama. I decided not to because I didn't know if she was looking at me with the don't even try it look yeah. or the, uh, you know, okay, you're cool. But it was just an amazing experience looking into the the eyeballs of this baby and and mama it, it tucked in right there next to her pectoral fin and daddy was on the other side which I didn't even see the adults and I was just so excited that I'm getting like National Geographic footage on my GoPro which yeah. actually turned out that I had it on single shot and oh. so I actually got nothing oh yeah. man uh, and I was just totally bummed and I I put my head as they as they were swimming away I put my head down and kind of took it all in for a second, and then a fourth one swam right underneath me. And it was just an amazing experience. And within a couple of days, I, I call it the God Thumb Drive, um, I just had this story in my head, and I wrote it down, mm -hmm. submitted it to a couple of people, and got some confirmation that it was a, it was a good story. Mm -hmm. And... And I could just feel it. And anyway, I submitted it to Island Heritage, and those guys are awesome. Uh, they did a little polishing on it, and and uh, then we, I, I asked if we could have Don Robinson. He, to me, is one of the most fantastic children's artists um, out there, and they gave him a call, and within a week I had a positive result on that, that he was going to do the illustrations. So I was just super, super stoked about all of that. Yeah, he did a beautiful job on those, uh, those yeah, illustrations. Yeah, the artwork's amazing. Do you, get, do you get to keep, like, original stuff and frame it? And Yeah, I actually, the second page in there, I framed that page up. It's hang, I'm staring at it right now. I'm looking at it on the dining room wall. Wow. It is, he is just amazing. I think I'm his 14th. Um, children's book. Uh, he's, for those listening, he's done Too Many Mangoes, Mr. Miyataki's Marvelous Machine. What what sold me is is he is so good at actually getting the dimensions of whales and porpoises, or whatever, mm -hmm. correct. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that try that I'm just really a stickler on, on making sure that the dimensions are correct. And he did the uh, update in 2010 of Chinaman's Hat. Mm -hmm. And if you look at that book and the artwork there, you'll see just the eyes of the kids and and the hair. He does it acrylics with uh, colored pencil mm -hmm. uh, overlays and, and highlights. And he is just an amazing, amazing artist. Last year, uh, a coconut named Bob came out, and it won a major Hawaiian award and and I'm just super excited to have been able to work with him and hope to uh, work, do some more things with him in the future. Yeah, nothing like reading a book that has pictures in it, because I, I know there's always a big, you know, when you read just a regular book with text in it, and then, like, for example, you go see the movie, there's a difference between what you saw in your mind's eye mm -hmm. and what the filmmakers make. And I know with the kid's book, you get that direct interpretation, and that's important for him to have, uh, to see what you're seeing, right, when you wrote the story? Well, I mean, I didn't, again, it's a Hawaiian legend that, yeah. that came to me, so I, I didn't, this isn't an exact interpretation of what I saw while I was out there, but it, yeah. it, it does come out of, yeah, my mind, and so the collaboration with the artist, it's a, it's a long process. It took four months mm -hmm. to, to, you know, get the artwork finished on that, and, and starting out with sketches to make sure we're on the same sheet of music, if you will, yeah. in the sketches and approving those sketches and adding and subtracting and, and then finally going for coloration. And, um, you know, there was a, there were a few, uh, setbacks, but it's just a, it is a awesome process to work with an artist and come up with what you both envision. And I'm, I, I can't say enough about the book and how it turned out. It just really is pleasing to me. So how would you say that this, I guess, this book and the process of 
of creating it different is is different from the Humpty Dumpty series? Well, I was, I, you know, I'm working on different stories all the time, mm-hmm. and um, I have three more actual Humpty stories that I intend to. I call it the Rainbow series mm-hmm. that that I intend to get out there. Um, you know, I look forward to working with that artist again, but um, it takes a long time. This whole, like I said, Kohol has been the longest. The other ones, it took about a year to get each book out. This one took 16 months because um, it was just an extra long process on the artwork and whatnot, but it, it turned out fabulous. They, all the artists have different styles, and, and I appreciate how they fit with each story differently. Well, when you become a super famous, world famous child author, can you remember us, little people? <laughs> uh, absolutely, because uh, I'll I'll be uh, working with you guys. You know, purchasing probably one of your listings. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Well, th- Vince, we got to go to a commercial break, but um, maybe real quick, if you could tell our listeners again, where could they find your book and um, what's the title? And what's the title? It is Kohola, King of the Whales, and you can find it. Um, pretty soon, pretty much everywhere on the islands. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Barnes and Noble, Native Books, Bookends, Hilo Hattie, ABC, Longs, you know, you name it. And all, always as a backup, um, get it out there at Amazon. Awesome. Okay, thanks so much, Vince. You have a great weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great one. You all enjoy. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. It's 78 degrees, mostly cloudy in Honolulu. I'm Julia Norton Dennis in the Clear Channel News Center. Military officials say another suspected U.S. drone strike has killed two alleged Al Qaeda militants in southern Yemen and wounded two others. It's the ninth such strike in Yemen since July 27th. Since then, drone attacks in Yemen's southern and central provinces have killed a total of 38 suspected militants. Officials in Iraq say at least 69 people have been killed in a wave of car bombings today, mostly targeting cafes and markets around Baghdad dead as Iraqis celebrated the end of Ramadan. The death toll is Iraq's highest since July 20th when brazen assaults on two prisons near Baghdad plus other attacks left 71 dead. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood advisory for Oahu in effect until 11.30 a.m. You're advised to stay away from streams, drainage, ditches and low-lying areas prone to flooding, especially on the windward side. State Department of Education is offering $1,500 bonuses to work in hard-to-staff schools as one incentive for teachers to stay in their jobs. Teacher retention is one of the promised reforms that won Hawaii a $75 million federal race to the top grant. Rescuers on Maui located this morning a lost father and son who went missing in Eyal Valley yesterday. They searched last night until 10.30 p.m. and then resumed the search at 6 a.m., finding the 51-year-old Texas man and his 11-year-old son just before 7 a.m., about a mile and a half into the trail. They were cold, but not injured. Uh, Island weather, there is that flash flood advisory in effect for Oahu until 11.30 a.m. Today, showery and breezy with a high in the upper 80s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, low near 75. Tomorrow, partly sunny. Currently in Honolulu, it's 78 degrees. When buying, selling, or owning a home, we suggest that you have a home warranty from Home Warranty America. Avoid exploding appliances in your next real estate transaction. Team Lally offers free sellers coverage on all our homes. Give us a call at 799-9596 so we can tell you how that works. When you're trying to find the best of the best, don't settle for an agent that's just like the rest. Pick a team that knows just what to do. From buying or selling, we work hard for you. Team Lolly, the best real estate in the islands. 227-2703. 
In every real estate transaction, there is a virtual silent partner, the escrow company. They're there to make certain that the transaction keeps on track and that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. We like working with Hawaii Escrow and Title. They close our transactions on time with professionalism and aloha. We're happy to recommend Hawaii Escrow and Title for any escrow and title services, providing Hawaii's community with exceptional escrow and title services since 1972. Check them out on the web at hetinc.com. That's H E T I N C dot com. Hey, hey, listen, folks, before we jump back in, here's yet again another great success story from Adrian Lally and her team. Now, we all know this not everyone has a house they're trying to sell. Some of you folks may even have uh, condominiums to put on the market. Well, this success story is about a Waikiki condo, and here's what happened Adrian Lally listed a Waikiki condo, and after just a couple of days on the market, that's just two days on the market. Adrian had two full price cash offers. Now, even better than that, the condo closed in, are you ready, just 10 days. That's right, just 10 days. Now, these success stories results, uh, they speak for themselves. But what you need to do is give Adrian a call. Call today. Find out how Team Lally can help you. And remember this, that Adrian Lally guarantees to sell your home for the amount agreed to by the deadline you set, or she'll buy your home for cash. Do this. Give Team Lally a call today, 227-2703. So they can help you, too. And be sure to listen to the Team Lally radio program every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon here on KHVH Radio. Party people! Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian, And I'm Attilio. And we're talking about real estate today. So we do have a featured property here to talk about. It's, just, it's brand new. I think it went live yesterday. It's out in Miley Kai. Miley Kai. Miley Kai. It's on 87911 Kulakoa Streets. The list price is 315000 it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, single family home. Mm -hmm. It is attached on one side, but you kind of like a duplex. Yeah, but you hardly notice. Has a little uh, eleven hundred square feet, and lot size is almost four thousand. Now the inside of this home, it looks just like a model. The yeah, owner has the... done everything you possibly could be done. To this Flooring, home. travertine tile, granite countertop, stainless steel appliances. Uh, this mahogany cabinets, like it was like mahogany with bamboo. And cherry or something like that. It was really, really nice. Don't don't take our word for it. We've got great pictures and... Uh, and a video. And a video on our website, teamlally.com, L-A-L-L-Y. Yes. And um, I think this one's going to go quick. It is, it's, it's moving ready. I think the only thing that really needs to be done is the yard. Yeah, and the yards, it's got all the major structure there if you were to come in because it's got a nice uh, terrace rock wall. Mm -hmm. uh, she, in fact, actually, the homeowner put in a brand new vinyl fence for the rear fence because it was uh, all termite eaten wooden fence, and she mm -hmm. put in a nice brand new vinyl fence not even a couple months ago. There's like mature palm trees too mm -hmm. that are great for the extra shade. Yeah. So, so all yeah. you do is you go in there, put a sprinkler system and a, and a lawn, and you pretty much have your little mini oasis. And you're good to go. Yeah. Can't beat that price. No, 315000 three bedroom, two and a half bath. So if you imagine what's out in that area, they've got a, a Sea Country Daycare Center, mm -hmm. brand new basketball court that you just put in, this big, huge football field, literally within walking distance of this home. And uh, up there in that uh, nice little neighborhood back there in uh, Maili. Maili So it's like right before the Sea Country yeah, neighborhood. On the left side. And um, other than that, yeah, great property. By the way, you know what? I have, a, I have a question for you. Yes. Can you make money and make excuses at the same time? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you can make money or you can make excuses. You just can't do both. Mm -hmm. Now, if that, if you're, let's say you're, uh, what would we say, a licensed realtor out there? Or you're in real estate classes. Yeah. You're thinking about getting your license. If that quote resonates with you, if it makes sense to you, you're going to give us a call because we're looking for buyer agents mm -hmm. to, to bring on to our team to show you how to be successful. Um, we've got the game plan. We've done it with all our other agents. Yes, we have. Um, and so you're going to, what are they going to do? Are they going to call us? They or can send call us, us at 799-9596. Uh-huh. 799-9596 or 
send an email to info at teamlally.com. Now, if you're thinking, no, I have a ton of excuses on why I don't make money. <laughs> don't don't, don't call that number. Yeah. Just forget you ever heard that. Yeah. All right. So we have a topic for today. Should Are, home sellers overprice or underprice real estate listings? Now, that's if you're a seller, that's always the, the, the two mindsets there. So we'll read. This is a, from a Wall Street Journal mm-hmm. article, and that is the title of it. Should home sellers overprice? or underprice their real estate listings. And a lot of times you're going to do that based on the advice from who? Your realtor. Your realtor. Okay, so this article by Sanet Tanaka. The price is right isn't just a game show. It's a mental strategy real estate agents use to get the money, most money, when Mm -hmm. listing your home. So when setting an asking price, there are two schools of thought. In one, agents overprice properties in the belief that a higher asking price will draw higher initial offers from potential buyers. Now, sometimes when you do that, though, it just causes crickets to chirp and nobody even goes to see the home. Yes. So you got to be careful. Well, I think what the article goes on to say really depends on what kind of market that you're in. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. she gives an example. um, And the examples they give were like these million dollar properties in Upper East Side in Manhattan and that, that because of low inventory. So uh, when you sit down to do a consultation with, uh, with, uh, with your listing agent, you're going to want to take a look at, you know, what the inventory looks like in your neighborhood. And not only just the actives, but the solds, because mm-hmm. the solds is what the appraiser is going to use. They're not going to look at an active home or a home that's under contract as a comparable property. It does not become comparable until it actually closes and records. Okay. So again, over again, that's that one school of thought. Overprice the property, and you're going to get higher ask. Uh, if you put a higher asking price, you're going to get higher offers. Okay. So the other school of thought is pricing homes below nearby properties in hopes of starting a bidding war. Okay. So now, even in a heated market, buyers are looking for a bargain. He says, if sellers start low, they could potentially add 10 to 15 percent to the sale price. There's so much pent up demand out there right now. Money is just waiting on the sidelines. And then, okay, so the person, uh, I guess the researcher is the one that said, um, strategy, however, po- poses a challenge. It's really hard to get your seller to agree to that. All right, I, I to, think, under, to, to underprice the property. Yeah. Because it makes them nervous. I can see why it would make them nervous. Like, what if we don't have 10 offers? Yeah. Then what? You know, do I have to accept that offer that comes in at the, the list price that we've that below the market. Yeah, and I guess you could, you, I mean, you as a seller, you can do whatever you want so long as it doesn't break any laws. You know, I mean, if you want to counter somebody up above your list price or just say, hey, uh, give us the best and final, what actually ends up happening, what do the buyers do? They end up bidding up above their list price. Yes. So that's how usually that works. They're the ones that do that. And we, we've got examples that we can share with you. Um, okay, so these people did research Uh, Let's see here. Who are these people? New research tackles this dilemma. A study published in the Journal of Economic Behavior and Organization in May found that homeowners who set the initial asking price 10 to 20% higher than similar homes uh, in the neighborhood see a slight increase. But we were trying to figure this out. It's kind of weird. They're like increases of $117 to $163 on average. (laughs) So you're like, <laughs> does this study even make sense? I'm going to make $100 more if I price my high, home higher. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Those numbers don't make sense. Yeah. So, so maybe, we gotta, we, maybe we should talk about our example. Well, we, so, okay, what we always tell clients when we sit down with you is you can, you can put whatever price you want on there. Mm-hmm. If, the, if, if you're in a, in a community where they have similar homes, and let's say the last three homes exactly like yours, same model, same lot size, sold for five hundred thousand. And mm-hmm. you come into the and sit down with Adrian and myself, and you go, "I want to list my home for eight hundred thousand. I'm not taking a penny less." It's going to be a very short meeting. We're yes. going to say we're done. That's not realistic. So you can go a little bit higher, but not not crazy higher. So let's talk about our example. So in our example, we did price that one. Okay, so this home was out in Kaneohe, and there's oh, we weren't really... supposed to say where. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of homes that we have in Kaneohe. Okay. Okay, so it's this, one of them. It's one of them. We uh, there was not a whole lot of sales history in this particular area, or the building, or the building. Yeah, um, people don't move. Or in general, they keep the homes. They love the homes there. So, I mean, there was a, a little bit of um, activity, activity in uh-huh. comps, but um, just not a whole lot. So, 
what we decided to do with along with our seller was was price it slightly above mm-hmm. and see how the market reacted. Yeah, and it reacted very well. We actually got um, an ab- above asking price offer. Yeah, and we got multiple offers on it, and mm-hmm. it was like five thousand dollars above our list price, which was priced I would say probably three percent above what what the uh, average sell price has been. Now, sometimes the strategy of the buyer is, hey, I'll just come in with whatever price mm-hmm. and we'll just get in the escrow and then the appraisal will come in low and then the seller will have to lower their price. Now, listen to that very carefully. When the If the appraisal does come in low, the seller does not have to lower their price. No. So we want to eliminate, uh, dispel that misconception. Um, it's just, it's the bank is only going to learn lend so much money. That's right. All right, so we do need to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish talking about our example about should you... Price it higher? Or lower. Or lower. So don't go too far. Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places to live with our gorgeous weather and perfect tropical climate. It's the ultimate paradise. However, pests love living here just as much as we do. Pests like cockroaches, termites, ants, and even rodents thrive within our very own home. Keeping them out is important for the safety of your family as well as the structural integrity of your home. Let Kamaina Termite and Pest Control keep your home clear of these unwanted pests. They offer smart, reasonable, and effective programs for your property. With more than 30 years of experience, let the Kamaina team protect your investment. Call them today for a free estimate at 591-9997. Again, that's 591-9997. One of the things we recommend to get the most value in regards to getting your home ready for sale is a professional cleaning, and the cleaning company we recommend is Spots Cleaning and Maintenance. Give Flo a call at 383-5843. They are licensed and insured and can do residential and commercial cleaning. Look, folks, I'm a certified clean freak. Just ask my beautiful wife, Regina. This is the only company I trust to clean my own properties. We recommend Fidelity National Title Insurance Company for your next real estate transaction. Through its nationwide network of direct operations and agents, Fidelity National Title provides title insurance, underwriting, escrow, and closing services to consumers. Check them out at FidelityNationalTitle.com or FNTIC.com. Welcome back. This is Adrian. And this is Atilio. And you're listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. If you have any real estate questions, give us a call. That number is 855-KHVH-830, 855-548-4830, or on the web at gokhvh.com. Now, folks, listen up. One of the things we tell our clients is, you know what? We're not going to get stuff done for you. We're just going to have a boatload of excuses. We don't say that. We don't say that. The point I'm making, because you were like, what? What did he just say? We are looking for a buyer agent. Gents. We're looking for buyer agents. How many are we looking for right now? Two? Two for now would be good. Yeah, we're looking for two buyer agents. And listen up, folks. If you are in the real estate business and you got your license, you're ready to go, you're struggling, you're like, you. here's the difference. Work is work, but there's called being productive. Okay, a lot of people can work in this business and not be productive. You can go out there and meet with clients and do this and do that and do a whole bunch of busy work, what I call it. But bottom line is we've sold over 135 homes last year and we're looking for other buyer agents to come work with us so we can show them how to be productive agents. So if you believe that making you can either make money or make excuses, you can't do both. And seriously, that gives you shivers in the back of your <laughs> neck. The number you need to call is 799-9596, 799-9596, or you can send us an email at info at teamlally.com. And we're going to teach you the difference between being a busy realtor and a productive realtor. All right. And we have a track record to prove it. Yeah. So continuing with our article from the Wall Street Journal, The schools of thought on a seller. Should you overprice your home or underprice your home? What's going to net you better results? 
And we were talking about our exam plot in Kaneohe, with yeah. how we discussed the different strategies with our seller. And we decided because of the low inventory situation and the fact that there's just not a lot of people moving from that building because it is a highly desirable mm-hmm. area that we would we would price a little higher and see see what kind of offers would come in. And yeah. we got an offer that was $5,000 above where we were listed. And so so now where now where are we at today? Well, you know, I what I love about clients is the ones that are willing like with us, we're willing to posture anybody anytime anywhere. That's part that's the art of negotiations. What is it? He who He who cares the least wins. Yeah, so I love it when we give our clients the advice and they're like, "Okay, sounds good." And um so the situation is we're in contract at a particular price, the appraisal comes in low. Was well, like how much low? Like no, two? we don't want to say how much lower. Okay. I don't want to give them too many clues. It's, right. I mean, it's it's a it's there's a point to the story. We don't need the <laughs> specifics. Okay, it just came in low. Yeah, it came in low, and uh, basically the seller's like, ah, that's the price I want, and I'm not taking a penny less. So I'm like, okay, sounds okay. good to me. They can cancel. They can cancel now for us as a listing agent. If the deal cancels, we don't get paid, right? Mm-hmm. But we're not going to use that in our advice to our client because we do enough business. If this one cancels, oh well, we still have other deals to do, and and that's important. Another you want to be offers. working with a busy realtor yep. because we're just financially, we're not, we're going to be motivated to get you the best price possible, but we're not going to be so financially motivated that we want you to do the deal no matter what. Yeah. Like if your deal doesn't go through, it doesn't mean that, uh oh, cannot pay our mortgage. Yeah. Pay we'll be fine. Proceeds. Yeah. So I go back to the agent and say, hey, you know what? That's the price. Um, and the seller's not budging off of that. So you guys got to come up with the difference if you want to keep moving in escrow. And um, so, it. so that's one of the things that can happen when you price your property above the market is that an appraisal will come in low. Yes. And then at that point, it's time for renegotiation. And as Attilio said earlier, he who carries the least is will, the, will, will win, win in that negotiation. Yeah. So you have your choices are you can split the difference, come you, all the way down to you what can the come all the way is. down to the appraised value, or you can say no, I'm not budging. Exactly. And then the buyer would have to make a decision: Am I going to come up? Um, so this, the buyer even offered to come up a little bit. I mean, not yeah. a little bit, but quite a bit. Yeah. Almost halfway that they had offered on to that come difference, up. but the buyer's like, Nope, not going to happen. So that buyer's got to make a decision. And, um, um, if anything, I, again, we, we, we could just say, Hey, it fell out of escrow, bring us a full price offer so we can continue moving forward. Mm-hmm. And that would still be up to the seller whether they want to do that. So part of the, um, but part of the problem with that, though, too, is once we fall out of escrow, you know, the next buyer is going to ask. Why? Why? Yeah. And. Well, we can posture them and tell them right up front. This is why. And this is what you need to do. We need to see. That. You better have a bunch of money in the bank because <laughs> you're going to have to pay a appraised value. And unfor- not unfortunately, it is what it is. That is the market we're in. So, folks, if you're looking to buy, be prepared. If If, if prices never went up then homes will be still going for a hundred grand. That is true. They're going to go up and that's the market you're in. And and part of that trade-off is buyers going to have to come to the table with more money and start paying above appraised value because that's how the values increase, right? People, Somebody yep. paid above the appraised value at some point in time. To set the new comp. To set the new comp. Yes. All so, right. So the last, what? Oh, I was going to say you can call our buyer hotline. Yeah. What is it? That's 234-4421. Mm-hmm. And one of our four full-time buyer agents would be happy to help you. All right. So a lot of that too is our reputation with our buyer agents is that we get deals done and we're going to be easy to work with in escrow. So sometimes the reputation of the buyer agents and the team they're part of can be helpful in your buying situation. That's true. But I want to share this last part because I don't want to just pick and choose the nice stuff out of this article. I'll read you the last part. Pricing low and and what they're saying in this article is that the agent's going to on average always tell you to price it low. Because uh, researchers find that while agents privately believe that overpricing leads to a higher final price, they publicly advocate underpricing. Um, Pricing low may speed up the sale, which can save the real estate agent both time and money spent marketing the property. In the end, the agents may get a lower commission, but the difference is usually negligible. So it's intuitive, intuitive if you think about it, this researcher says. It looks like the realtors are doing what's best for them, and as homeowners, we need to understand that relationship. And what do we always tell our clients? We always tell them that it's not about us, it's about them, and we want to do what's best for them. Yeah, we've told clients, you shouldn't sell the home, you should keep it. 
Or yeah. you should rent it or you should refinance and get a better interest rate. We have told clients that. And they've taken our advice. And we didn't list all? Yes. Okay. But when they're ready to sell, they'll be coming back to us. Yes, because it's about a long-term relationships. All right. So we have Speaking a, of real estate. Yes, yeah, speaking of real estate. And, um, well, we do have an open house tomorrow on this one. Okay. It's out in uh, Hawaii Kai, Mariner's Valley. Uh, 851 Maniniholo Street. Mm-hmm. List price is 825000 This is a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, single-family home with 2,300 square feet. Now, it used to be four bedrooms, but they um, opened up one of the mm-hmm. bedrooms to make it like a larger bedroom upstairs. Yes. So it could be converted back if you wanted to. A little over 5,000 square foot lots. And um, it does need some work. Yeah. But... It's a great location. Yeah, it's right down the street from that school, and I got to look for it on here. Oh, there it is. Uh, Kamiloiki mm-hmm. uh, Elementary School. So there's like a back way. So you don't, the kids don't even have to get on the main street. There's a little park over there. They got the skate park over there right down the street. Um, if you're on the second floor looking out of the first bedroom, and that faces the front of the home, beautiful view of Cocoa Head. So, so it's, a nice home. It's going to be open tomorrow from 3 to 5. Uh-huh. And Kaylin Kim Walker is going to be out there hosting that open house. Same owners lived in this home, I think, 40 plus years. So this yeah. is an exceptional opportunity to own this home. And not a lot of people uh, like to move from this neighborhood. Yeah. Although there was one of their neighbors across the street that just moved. And I think their house sold at like 950. Wow. That was moving ready though. Yeah. So it's opportunity. Opportunity. Okay. And here's a coming soon property that we have out in... Makakilo, mm-hmm. West Hills, on 9270, 10, 7110 LLA Street. Yes. Uh, three bedroom, two and a half, two and a half bath, 1,400 square foot home on a 5,000 square foot lot. Awesome coastline and ocean views. And this one will be a short sale. We'll be probably listing this one towards the end of the month. Because there's, there's still tenants in there. Yeah, we're going to get the tenants to get cleaned up, take some pictures and video, get that one listed. Mm-hmm. But that's another opportunity that's coming up to own a home. And again, don't be scared off of the word short sale. Short sale, people think common misconceptions can take forever. Uh, may not get done. I may end up ending up paying for things that I weren't planning on paying for. It. With our short sales, we do get them done. We've done, what, I don't know, 300? Probably about 350. 350 of them. Yep. Uh, and uh, we make sure that we negotiate everything, get everything all squared away. So, yeah, you may end up paying for things that you traditionally do not pay for. However... We'll let you know up front. You'll know up front. But the other thing is that you're going to get a a price that's below market value. So if you were to go buy an equity sale, you're probably going to be paying 3 to 5% more. So all, all day long, I'll pay for a termite inspection or condo docs if I'm getting fifteen to twenty thousand dollars off. Yes. So I mean, think about it. It is an opportunity, but you do need to remain flexible and and open minded. Yes, have some patience. You can either go to McDonald's, go to tre- cheeseburgers, and don't <laughs> exercise, or you skip McDonald's. Yes. Eat well, exercise, and have the body that you'll be proud of at the beach. All right, so we have a, a community event that's happening tonight. Speaking of which. Yes, roller derby, doubleheader at Palama Settlements. The doors open at 530. The, bar, the bout starts at 6. It'll be ACR, the Aloha City Rollers, uh-huh. skating against PRD's business. And then at 730. Business? That's the name of the roller derby the team? Business, like the bi- business. Oh, like, like B-I-Z? Yes. And... They're so cute. They have like these little shirts with the with a tie on the front. Oh, gotcha. But it's not like a real tie. But it's like a picture it's of a stitched tie. On, oh, it's yeah. a picture of a tie. Yeah, it's cute. And then PRD's Hooligan All-Stars are skating against the Charlotte Roller Girls. So, um, And you're going to see your very own uh, Adrian Lally here of Team Lally, a.k.a. Lally Gagger. And you're going to be on what team? I will be on the Aloha City Rollers. Skate, of course. Starting at 6. And then also one of our buyer agents... Celeste Gates, Cutting Candy. Yes. She's going to be out there as well. We'll be skating out there together. Cool. All right. So I think that we are now in 
ending our show. So thank you for listening and thank you to our sponsors. Denise Kaehu with Hawaii Escrow and Title. Gabe Ame and Jim Owens with Hawaii VA Loans. Alana De La Cruz with Kamaina Property Management. Mike Metz with Kamaina Termite and Pest Control. Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. Flo and Frank of Spots Clinia Maintenance. David Sobel with Home Warranty America. Matt Fortier with Fidelity National Title and Escrow. And Brad Albert. <laughs> With the Fat Albert cartoon. No, that's he's not one of our sponsors. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, just go to theteamlally.com and check out our business partner page under our link section. We also want to give a big thank you to Steven, our producer here in the studio. Make sure to tune in next week. We're going to have an awesome guest talking about something that will change your life forever. This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the guaranteed Soul, Soul Program. Program. If we, if we can't, can't sell, sell your home, home at the agreed upon price and our time frame, we'll have it bought for cash. Thanks, Thanks and aloha. Glenn Beck. Sending you a message. Weekdays at 4. It's all going to be good. KHVH Honolulu. I'm here. Hawaii's home for Fox News.